Uh, basically, this is the Morris Nigra, the mulberry, and Blackberry. some of it's in fruit and ready to pick. And no, no, this no. is what the What's people are doing at the moment. It's not Blackberry, is it? It's a mulberry. mulberry. Um, some of the people can reach the lower ones, which are ripe, the black ones, the red ones you want to leave alone because they're still a little bit sour. So people come in and just sort of help themselves, really. It's frowned upon when they start climbing the tree, so I'm trying to stop that, but obviously I just want the people to enjoy it as much as we enjoy it. So. But they are still red. I think they need to be a little bit more like a black, purple colour than they will be ripe to eat, isn't it? People come here and they eat a lot of them, so that's why there are not many now. But a few more days of sunshine and we will have lots, I should think. And i tell you a nice story about it. In Turkey, when they arrive, and you get like a big blanket, and people, they will go underneath, they will open the blanket, and then my dad or some shake guy, it. they will I shake, shake it, it. Ah, yeah. and the whole blanket, it will be full of it, and you will just sit and eat and eat. So it's that's what we're going next time, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> we'll come with a big blanket. Some of the beds in it, because it's uh, the 150th year of the Forby Gardens actually opening, Yeah. Um, there's certain beds in here that sort of correspond to what happened 150 years ago. Like the white bed here, you can see just down there, that corresponds to the first tour of um, England when they went to Australia to play cricket. So it comes with, that's why that's a white bed. You've got different themes for different sort of situations, which is in this leaflet. <laughs> Fred, Fred Potts is yeah. a, he's, he's a, he's a chap who was in the, in the war. He, he got shot himself and got crawled to sort of safety. Found another uh, soldier injured, worse than what he was. So he sort of consequently dragged him to safety on the back of a shovel. And I think a couple of days it took him to do it. He saved his life, and he was, was awarded the Victoria Cross for that. So.